Hello, hello, welcome. I am Sari Lavender and I hope you are having a lovely day. Hello! So today, clearly, we are doing a bookish video and today I thought it would be a good idea to show you all the unread books on my bookshelves. Now, you can only see like five of my shelves, I know that. I do have a reorganising my bookshelves video from a while ago where you can see my full bookshelves and like the extent of how many books I have. Um, so some of them that are up the top, you can't see those, which is okay. Like I'm not, I'm not phased about that. Today you get a little sneak peek into what is in the top and what out of the top is um, unread. A little other note, you will see these little dots in my glasses. Um, it's a little bit late for actually filming. I ran out of time today. I have to film today. Um, so I am using my phone as a light, extra light, so I look okay. <laughs> So that's that. So that's about it for the intro. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just jump straight in, really. Um, I also am not going to be linking every individual book in my description because let me tell you, I do not have the patience to write out 50 books and I might hit the max limit of how many characters or words you can have in a description. Instead, I will link my own TBR, what is it? shelf I suppose in my Goodreads as well as just my normal Goodreads so if you want to see any of the books that I talk about go into that shelf um, and they should all be there I will update it before I put this video out just to make sure everything is there but otherwise I think that's all I have to say so I'm gonna get on okay so my first shelf is sort of my myth slash childhood shelf just an FYI on what, where these books have come from uh, which is the first one? How is this? Oh, it's like this. So on this shelf, um, I have a lot of my old school books, books that I bought for school. Um, and then just books from my childhood that I've read. So I thought, oh. I sort of thought a book was going to fall on me. I have Enid Blyton up there as well as the Fleurville Trilogy which is um, they're both middle grade or young yeah I call them middle grade but the books on that shelf that I haven't read and there are a few let me tell you that starting with Singing My Sister Down and Other Stories by Margot Lannan the second book was one that I read or I read part of last year and that is Only the Animals by Sarah Dwan Dovey again not again. Yes, again. This is a short story collection. Um, however, this is one that I read last year for school. So I have read and studied a few of the stories, just not all of them. The third one is Ariel by Sylvia Plath. This is another one that I studied last year. Um, this I re-bought this because I like this cover more than the one that we had last year. There are still nicer copies out there but hey I will do with what I can um, because I studied it I read most of the poems um, however I think there's a few that I'm missing out on so the next book is also a school related book it was the or two of both of these books were books that the English class read I was in the literature class um, however I did get these books this year to help out with any of this year's year 12s so that it is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel and The Dressmaker by Rosalie Ham. And last but not least off that shelf is another one I have started, but I started it when I was probably 10, so I don't remember very much at all. And that is The Silver Brumby by Elaine Mitchell. Is that how I say it? Ellen Mitchell? Something like that. This is a big fancy edition that is the bind up I believe yeah it, it includes four silver Brumby titles okay so the next one is just a random young adult shelf that has series on it so I'm going to start with Far From Perfect by Holly Smile I have all of the almost all of the Geek Girl books I think I'm missing one all the Geek Girl books and the first book in this series that are all by Holly Smile on that shelf and this is the only one that I haven't read now the next book yes 
Um, it's a series of six books that I have read the first two of, and then it's the Galher Girl series by Ali Carter. So yeah, these are the next four books. The first two are I Tell You I Love You But Then I Would Have to Kill You, and then Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy, and then we have don't judge a girl by her cover, only the good spy young, out of sight, out of time, and united we spy. So if you can't tell, this was the shelf that all these books were on. Um, there's no books on that shelf anymore because I haven't read any of them. So starting with the big thing that was on that shelf, and that is the Twilight series. I have never read Twilight. I have all of the Twilight books. I bought them last year after I watched the movies for the first time. Like, the, I really missed the big YA time. The rest of the books on that shelf I will run through you, with you now. Starting with The Magpie Society by Amy McCulloch. Sorry if I butchered that. And Zoe Sugg. The next book is Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bashadust. The next book that I have is Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. All right, next one. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I've had it, yeah, forever and just not gotten to it. I will get to it. I think the cover is gorgeous. And that's why I picked it up. No, not picked it up. I put it on my lit book list of books that I wanted when I was younger. All right, the last book on that shelf is Jasper Jones by Craig Sylvie. There's that shelf and we are skipping this shelf. These, this is the shelf of my... Then I don't know if any of these books are actually mine, which is why we're skipping it. They are my aunt's or my grandma's or my mom's, something like that. They're all old books I have. So yeah, we will be moving on to that shelf. That made such a nice noise. To that shelf. And honestly, the only book that I haven't read on that shelf is A Christmas Carol. We studied what well, A Christmas Carol and other stories. We studied A Christmas Carol at school. If you can't tell, I have a lot of school books. <laughs> I like to keep them. Um, so yes, we studied A Christmas Carol in year 11. However, there's more than just A Christmas Carol in this. It's A Christmas Carol and other Christmas writings. So we have Chris, I think they're all Dickens. Yeah. This is my Kira Cass shelf. So the only book I haven't read by Kira Cass that I own is The Siren. All right, moving on to this shelf. This is my, what's it called? Non-fiction shelf. So I'm gonna pull all the books that I haven't fully read off it. So yeah, this is my non-fiction shelf. Um, this will show a little bit into my interests as well as reading content creation and gaming. So we have Game On by Bianca Chatfield and Leigh Russell. This is like an inspiration, self-motivation sort of book. Now the next two books are both related and that is the Bullet, the 365 Bullet Guide. Could not tell you who this is, but oh, there we go. Zenol Compton and then the Bullet Journal Method by Ryder Carroll. Ryder Carroll actually is the person behind the Bullet Journal. He came up with it. So that's why I asked, this is a book that I got for Christmas. I think both books I got for Christmas, but different years. Next we have another one of my interests, which is France, the French language and culture. So I have this book about Paris that I got for Christmas as well. A lot of books I get, for, I get, you, a lot of books for Christmas. Um, now this is all about like the city of Paris and places you can go and eat and all of that. And let me tell you, there are some absolutely gorgeous photos in this. Look at, look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? So Paris. And the next book I have is France, A Short History by Jeremy Black. This is a book I bought recently um, and it's just French history. And then last but not least that came off that shelf that I haven't read every single page of is Hamilton the Revolution. This is a chunky big book. It's a very pretty book too. Uh, this is by Lin-Manuel Miranda and Jeremy McCarter. So this talks about the Hamilton the musical as well as you get these gorgeous stills with lyrics from all the songs. On top of that 
you get like behind the scenes into thought processes and all that. Okay, the next shelf I'm not going to bother to get the books off is my Shadow Hunter shelf. We all know my experience with the Shadow Hunter series. I have read City of Bones. This is also City of Bones. I've read both copies. Um, I have not read anything else. So <laughs> it's a young adult uh, fantasy series and a series of series is, yes, a little bit confusing. So the books here, if you're wondering or can't tell, there's City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Clockwork Angel is this red one over here. It's the 10th anniversary edition. And then I have the Lost Book of the White, which is the second book in the Eldest Curses series, and then Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron in hardbacks. And they are both the... I've forgotten the word. First edition, collector's edition. Like, because it says on the front that it's the first edition. Um, which is why I bought them, because I think it's really cool that I got first editions. <laughs> so, yes. Model Instrument series, uh, Clockwork Angel, oh, it says on there. Infernal Devices, Eldest Curses, and The Last Hours. Those are those books. Now I go this way. And I am going to pull them out, but I'm going to pull the books out one by one. So, we have The Invisible Life of Annie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I did start it at the start of the year. I don't remember where I got up to. I don't have the bookmark in it anymore to tell you where I got up to because I put it down for such a long time that it wasn't worth picking up again. Well, not, not worth picking up again, but it wasn't worth me picking up from where I left off. I need to reread it. The little section I did read. The next book is Malice by Heather Walter. I would call it adult from where I actually know it's young adult. It's put out as young adult here, however, it can be put out as adult. Romance, sapphic. Again, fantasy romance, sapphic. That's all I know about it. What was it? That's all I was going to say about the books, and then I got into like intense detail and rambled. I'm just going to pull these three off, whatever. All these books are pretty new, so I know you will have seen them recently, and you can just go back if you want to see what they're about. Oh, look, the Goodreads. All right, next one Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Malascalco. Young adult fantasy romance, again, I believe. This shelf has a bit of a theme going for it. Definitely fantasy. Don't know if it's romance or not. There's that one. Next one, The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Young adult, probably fantasy, Arthurian legend retelling idea. Um, trilogy, first book in a trilogy. So yes, there's that one. Um, all these books I have bought this year. If you're wondering where they came from. Um, I really I didn't mention for this one. The France book I bought, like, this year. This month. I bought it when I was in Queenscliff. So yes. And then the last one is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maharin. Young adult romance fantasy. Again, bought it within, the like, this year. So. Okay. And the last books on the shelf that I haven't read, I can't get out. They're really wedged in tightly. But that is The Starless Sea by Erin Morganson. That is, I'm pretty sure, an adult. I got it from the adult section at least. I think I got that one last year, however. Or right at the start of this year. I remember doing a big mass purchase of like eight books at once, and this was one of them. We also have A Deadly Education by Naomi Novak. I'm pretty sure that's young adult, new adult, adult, somewhere in there, um, fantasy. Again, I've talked about it a lot recently, I've bought it recently. And then we have Cinderella is Dead by Kayleen Bayron. Uh, that one's young adult sapphic romance, I think, fantasy romance. Uh, I believe I purchased that at the same time as the Starless Sea, if not sometime in the past year. I honestly don't remember. So. That's like the young adult fantasy romance shelf that I only have one book of if they are even in series. 
which I know some of them are. Like Malice is, the Guinevere Deception is, Serpent and Dove is, like they're all series. I just only have one book from them. So next shelf, you can see that is the Akatar and Heartstopper shelf. The only two books that I haven't read are A Court of Frost and Starlight and A Court of Silver Flames. Bang. It's by Sarah J Maas. I, if I haven't talked about it enough recently on my channel. So there's that shelf. Moving on to just my general contemporary and romance three shelves. We'll start down here. I have Yolk by Mary H. K. Choi that I haven't read. I loved Emergency Contact both the times I've read it. I've read it, given it five stars both times, which is why I bought Yolk and I need to get around to it. However, I did only buy it in the last month. So like this one's really new. And then we have Someone to Love by Melissa Dela Cruz or Crux. I say Cruz, but if I am wrong, please, please, please correct me. The next book on this shelf that I haven't read is Only Mostly Devastated by Sophia, Sophie Gonzalez. And we still have more books. We still have a lot. I warned you there were a lot of books and that's why I'm speeding through them. The next one is Cinnamon Girl by Melissa Keel. I got this from my mum ages ago. Like, I have had this forever and it's just been sitting on my shelf and I'm going, yeah, nah. Mm, no thank you. No thanks. Um, because I was young. I think I got it 2015, 14 or 15. So, maybe my birthday. But yes, um, I originally thought that this was because it was like a superhero book based on the, the cover and the name. However, it is actually about... Alba who creates a comic I think. Mum read it recently and she said it was something like that and she thought I'd enjoy it so there's that one. I don't, I literally have no idea so I'll just have to read it in the near future and not keep putting it off like I have for the past six years. And then the last two books on this shelf specifically, two more. We have The Duff by Kripke Keplinger. Keplinger? Kepling? Keplinger? I have no idea. When did I buy it? I've probably had this for four years. And I've probably had the next book for four years as well, and that is Five Feet Apart by, I need to actually read this, Rachel Lippincon with Mickey Daughtery and Tobias Iconis. We now have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I bought this as well right near the end of June or during June. So this is a recent purchase that I haven't gotten to yet. Romance, I don't know if it's YA or older. Honestly, I have no idea. But it is a sapphic romance and I am so excited to get to it. I love the cover. I mentioned this in my mid-year book freakout tag, but I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. It's just the colours, everything is right with it. Okay, so the next book is My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Mushfeg. I believe it's a adult book, though it follows this girl. I wasn't going to give you summaries, so I'm not going to give you summaries. Sorry, not sorry. So yes, um, that's that one. The next book, actually I'm going to get two books. A Journey for Niven books. I have all, believe, I think she only has three books published. I read all the bright places yes um i haven't read breathless which is her newest release that came out this year and i bought it pretty much on release um which yeah she only has the three books oh no it came out last year but i bought it pretty much on release when it came out and then the i know i definitely haven't read that one the other one is holding up the universe now i don't know if i read it because the back, there's part of the back that I go, yeah, that rings a bell. However, I don't remember anything about it. So I'm calling it an unread book because I feel like I should remember if I have read it. So there's those two. We have Lola and the Boy Next Door. This is, again, a recent purchase. I got this one this year. I'm pretty sure I hold it as well. The next one is The Kissing Booth by Beth Rekul. Rekuls. 
I might be butchering that as well, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do believe it's a net not Netflix, it's just a, um, bind up of Wattpad, that's the one. It was first released on Wattpad. And the last one on this little section of shelves is Celebrity Shopper by Carmen Reed. I think this is like adult, but I also think it's the second book in the series. I picked this up, picked this up in a place in the city called Book Grocer because it was really, really cheap, um, especially for hardback. Like this was probably $7, I think. And that's why I picked it up. Next, we have the last section. On here, the books I haven't read is My Secret YouTube Life by Charlotte Seeger. So we have The Falling in Love montage by Kiara Smith. I'm pretty for sure this is a young adult sapphic romance. There you go. I'm really trying to speed this through. This is another book that I think is gorgeous. Maybe all the sapphic books are just gorgeous. Maybe I should buy more. Yes, The Falling in Love montage. The next book that um, I haven't read that's on my shelves is The Art of Picking Up Girls by Eric Walters, um, which I got from my best friend for my birthday, I'm pretty sure last year. Does it have a little note? No. Um, I've just realised the two books that my best friends bought me I've not read. I'm gonna change that soon, hopefully. I'm so sorry, Jade, if you're watching this. I feel really guilty now, but you know what I'm like. <laughs> I'll get to this one first though. And then last but certainly not least is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. This is the third Nicola Yoon book. I have the other two as I mentioned really recently. Um, it's probably also a young adult romance given the other two are. So there's that one. I'm so excited to get to it and I bought this one really recently as well. So yeah. But oh my gosh, that is it! We did it! And I'm going So those are all my unread books on my shelves. Now you will potentially see over the coming month, year, whatever, I am trying to do a reread of all the old books that I have and I have read, however, I haven't read and rated. So just for instance, where'd it go? I can't pull that out. Oh, this one. The Sun is also a star. I know I read this and I know I loved it because it's Nicola Yoon and I love everything she writes. However, I haven't rated it in Goodreads. So that means I will reread it and then I can rate it. Um, however, there are some books that I have done a reread of. For instance, Everything Everything. Oh, this is, I forgot that this was this copy. I know why I bought this copy though. Anyway, um, so yes, I read, reread this. When did I reread it? The start of this year, January. Um, so I could rate it. So those are the three types of books I have on my shelves. Totally unread, read but needs to be reread to be rated, and then read. And you will see that reflected on my Goodreads if you go have a look. I didn't put that book in properly, but I'll fix that later. I will catch you on the next one. That's all I have. We got through all the books. There are a lot. That's one of the reasons I also made this video. Um, so you are aware of all the books that I have and I haven't read. If there were any that you would like me to get to sooner rather than later, Shadowhunters excluded from this, please let me know. Um, I don't have much structure. Oh, I forgot one! Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I dropped it. Yeah, I haven't read this, but it's just not a part of my shelves. It's a part of the shelf of the books that I haven't read. No, the books that don't fit on my shelves. Um, one that I'm reading, one that I've read, and the next book that I want to read. So, I knew that would happen. I was gonna sit it in front of me and everything and I forgot. So, yes. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you would like to see more of my content. In my description, you will find a link to my socials and the shelf that includes all my unread owned books. It's called my owned TBR on Goodreads. If you would like to follow me on any of those or look at any of the books, 
But yes, I hope you're having a lovely day, or if not, that your day gets somewhat better. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!